Hey, welcome to Martinez Design in the continuation of our minor house that we are working on. So in this particular project, we want to design some of the environment features and place it and so that the beauty of this house will come in. So the first thing we need to do is to set a topo surface for this. So what are we talking about the topo surface? You can go to site or foundation, let's say foundation for that matter. So go to site plan and then you select your topo solid. This is the uh, same thing as a super surface. Super solid for the so you create it by sketch or sketch it by what by importing stuff. So I'm using the import uh, sketch part to do what I want to do. So I'm using this particular rectangle. So I just want to set it up straight up and forget about it. So I've done what I need to do on the foundation. I set it up. So it's, before it was used to be super. Surface, I mean, to put surface, but now to put solid is what Revit uses. So, click on 3D and see the super solid we are talking about. This is it. So, it sends it snap to the foundation, and everything is good. You can change this by, by changing and arranging this in the different manner by so setting absolute different page and different things. So, we are going to split that one by splitting and splitting the line, adjusting and subdivisive or something later, but not in this particular project. So now let's move to the next thing that we need to do. So the next is that I want to create a fundamental fencing and that is only one click. So click here, select on the architecture, just click on fencing. So what the fence will do is that you just pick a random rectangle. The side does not have any pattern but just create anything around it. It's just an absolute thing that you need to do. So click on this one wall. So what is the issue? Something is there that is eating. So you go back here and go and see what have you done wrong. So this is it. You need to click here. The reason is that that thing is so small and you're using the base which is below. So you're going to click on below zero base. Mm -hmm. Then the unconnected, this is going to be Zero base and unconnected is going to be 2500. That's unconnected, so it moved up. And so, you delete this one because we really want it. So, I want to make it shorter because I didn't need the, the fencing, is just an plot of land as I've said before. So, you go to foundation where that thing is and adjust it. So, how do you do that? Bring this one close to you, and bring the second one there close to you. So, you move this to the from back to front like this so the main side you are going to use it to do your site work like when you are doing work away and a few other things at this particular position so what I need to do here now is that I need to now start putting my flower pots and decorative decoration effective elements so components then you select from here and search for the environment uh, absolute environment so I'm going to use fit light first my street light I want it to be here. I'm not going to set a base for it, I'm just going to put it here. Like that. So I will use this one and I will rotate it so that it looks like it form a so just this one and then type 90 degree and start. So when you are look at it from this space now, you're going to see something beautiful. Good. So this is the fencing I just created. So I don't need it, I'm going to hide it hide the, from the field so i'm hiding it it's not that i'm deleting it so i'm still working on it so i still have to make sure so now you can now begin to put your flower in a place where it's supposed to be so go there and select what else do you need to do in the environment so i need my flowers which is american beach for whatever the point will be so you select them and start using them for the goodness so select this black uh, this very something so you click there and begin to fix one after the other so i think this one is b you can put the second one if it's required the third you select it like that so now from here when you have them if they have the same pattern you can decide to change the so you can see this is the this is what I have. But if you are absolutely okay with this, which is okay, I'm I'm pleased with this. I'm not bother myself. But if you don't want the appearance, you can select them and say edit. 
I did them by saying this is Johnny Juniper. You can click here and say appearance and select different kind of appearance you want. We're going to technically update the set. So rendering idea property, this is what you can see the front view, back view, and every other thing like that. So I'm okay with this one. This is what I did. So I'm going to copy it. So sorry for this. Okay, just click. It's, it's not working okay so do this what you do and the next thing you need to do is to click here and then you say copy and you keep flowing copy to more space copy to the way it's supposed to be so you can bring it here and then select it to this place so it's going to bring absolutely beautiful to it so when you look at it on 3d those things are coming up again one after the other so let's check it at this side so that is it so this front side i'm leaving it i'm going to create special gates for this special fencing at the front so that is what i want to do i'm not going to follow the same pattern so now let me create pattern for this particular uh fence so the fence i'm going to create pattern for it and design it in just only this side so by the time the camera capture one position or let me use this side by the time capture camera capture the position this has some references that i work on so like this i'm going to put something on this position so what i do is that i go to my foundation i mean level one on the level one now I need to select I'm going to create temporary section which is what is going to be I'm going to use to do this particular design. So here 3D I'm going to say section. So from the section here I'm going to click here and then go to view from the view here is the fencing and what I need to do is to select this component and say model in place this model in place to do whatever you want to do and say ok so from here you can say terminal here it depends on your choice i just want to have a shader size so i'll be able to focus on the wall instead of line so now create this is what i want so i'm going to do this one by saying sweep is what i want to create the way i create the formal part on the lighting design is what i want to do here so i'm going to create the part so i say okay i'm selecting here so the surface is what is good for me so i'm going to use a uh, inscribe polygon instead of three i will use four so here it's going to give me what i need to do so i'm not going i'm going to use this one to do my whole uh, design so this one is so okay back so I can decide to offset the pens because I don't want this to just say offset, offset what? Offset 150 without copy, no, offset 250 without copy. So let it move in. Good, so like this is okay. So offset 250. So now you click finish, then you draw your profile. The provide depends can be 3d can be the north can be the west so i'm going to use a plan to do that view plan so here i'm going to just draw circle circle and circle so yes pure and absolute so go back to the view here and see where the design is there see can you imagine so this is what we have here so you select this one you can come back to the level one then shift it a bit to the surface then then you do the material editing just select any material that you know that is okay categorically is beautiful for so i'm going to use this aluminium ones so i'm going to do this one by checking it is it okay for me i'm fine so what i need to do is to define the inside so i'm going back to my section i'm not going to do any profiling again what i just need is to bring this and say coming here edit. so what i did edit strip so 
for this part which is what you need to do so see this one inside see this one inside and see this one inside so now you bring it out a little bit then bring it out a little bit so this one is more different from the pattern of the other one so here we're going to do by drawing this it's not going to touch here but it goes down here it's not going to touch here but it comes down here it's not going to touch here but it comes down here it's not going to come down here but it comes down here so that is the absolute design process that we want to do in that level click here and see that the pattern is formed so as the pattern is formed now you can copy this copy then move again go to this and see how beautiful the thing look that is it so the fencing is being created and look at the pattern that we talk about when we are creating effective fencing activities so i'm going to have wire mess on this fence i'm going to do that in the next tutorial so for this fencing activity i will have done thank you for watching god bless you that is what we need to do at this stage so you can just look at it on 3D and see that okay, it's not absolutely beautiful. And that is it. So you can copy that and mirror it to this side. So that is it. So thank for watching. See you in the next tutorial. God bless you. Amen.